what's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 8 and today's topic will be how to get all the issues from your Jira project uh, using uh, rest api uh, python uh, let's say um, just before i actually start the tutorial i have to actually show you guys what actually i'm trying to achieve because this is a very uh, unique uh, thing i have done and uh, i did it because i got so many requests so if you open to your Jira, uh, generally you will get uh, like all your project listed. Okay, like for me these two projects are listed. For example, I want to uh, get all the issues for this project. Okay, my project uh, ID is TTS and I want to list down all these issue names like TTS one, two, three, four. How to how to do that? So uh, generally, if you follow the API documentation, there is no such thing as written. But again, I found something that is called JQL query, uh, Jira query language okay so we have to understand this thing and they are actually it is there so i have just uh, put this link over here so if you go through this link you will be able to understand how to do that so i don't want to spend much time on the theoretical part because it is already there so before i just start let me just clear this thing okay and this is tutorial 8 i already did some uh, file creation so now we'll see how to do that so for that purpose just let me copy sorry copy this thing put it here remove this thing okay so probably i need to remove few things so few things means i need this one and params will be query and it should be request get okay. so let me remove this one first okay then i have to copy this one query and i have to give my project so my project will be in my case it will be tts right why tts so if you go to your project you will see this is my project tts right my project key is tts so that is why see tts okay so next thing will be a params will be inside uh, like params will be uh, there will be params and that will be this query value okay So it should be P A P A R A M S equals to that's it. So let's try to run this thing. Let's see what is hap happening actually. Yep. So let's run this thing. Uh, no content. Okay, so no content in my object. Okay. It should be like this. Okay. There is something uh, I did also mistake. I need to change this thing actually. So it will be uh, raised API three search I believe. So let's check the thing. Raised API three search. So it should be raised API three and search. Okay. It should be good now let's see what is happening okay so i got everything so if you check here if you go up go up go up yes so if you see uh, total i have four issues everything is here and there is something called issues issues and inside that my all the issue details are here for example this uh, key uh, actually this is a dictionary and out of that dictionary this key uh, is actually holding the issue id so what i have to do i have to just create data equals to response dot json okay and after that the issue is coming inside this thing so it should be issues equals to okay and after that we'll print see 
this here so let me just write for this is a list actually for issue in issues and inside that issues every id is actually available inside this thing okay so if i write print issue issue in inside that i will put key so i will get all the issue id this is simple that is what actually i am looking for see i have t1 t2 t3 t4 everything i got so let's uh, like validate our point let me just create one more issues like sample test test the python code something like that let's create so i have one more issue created so if i run this thing i will get tts5 see i get tts5 like this this is very simple okay so i believe you guys understand the concept actually so this is something called jql this is very uh, unique thing so what is happening here i am actually searching here like up to the search endpoint and after that i have putting my query so what i actually put in my query project equal to tts so what will happen now for project tts everything will get written okay that's it and from that actually i found the uh, issues and after that i actually did some parsing and from uh, the respond uh, object i uh, got this uh, issue key right this is this is very simple so i believe you guys uh, like uh, understood the concept but this is kind of a very uh, like uh, very specific tutorial probably i'm not sure whether m like many of you already uh, actually tried to do this thing and uh, face some problem and come back to me but uh, I'm actually glad that uh, someone uh, asked me that he's trying after watching my tutorial because in the tutorial I have shown actually how to get one single issue or details of the single issue. I haven't shown how to get all the issues. So someone tried and someone challenged himself and after that tried to fix this thing and after that he was not able to resolve this thing and probably the good thing is that he uh, sent me a WhatsApp message and from that actually I uh, landed up to this new thing and i just created the tutorial so hopefully in this way we can you all can actually collaboratively learn so that is why i ask you guys just uh, just don't rely on my videos or don't, just don't uh, like uh, uh, don't watch my videos uh, like blindly like after watching my videos try to solve some problem and try to create some more use cases and after that challenge the use cases so that you can solve them if you're not able to solve them fair enough fine you can ask me i'll try to help you and if i find this tutorials are unique and very helpful for other person maybe i can also create some tutorials so i thought this tutorial was will be interesting so that is why i'm just creating this tutorial so that is how we can learn so uh, just keep keep on trying and don't just watch my videos and rely on my video topics because videos are going to uh, give you some sort of intuition but until and unless you're not practicing you're not writing the codes of the videos whatever i teach by your own you will not be able to learn and master the technology so that is why after watching my videos you should do some practice try to uh, like channelize uh, sorry try to analyze visualize some other use case and try to fix those use cases please so in this way only you can uh, like get the benefit right so enough of talking guys and before i end this tutorial i'll highly recommend you guys to give me some sort of feedback good or bad doesn't matter but it has to be like uh, honest feedback that these things are missing these things are good if something is missing something you think i should add please let me know i'll try to uh, incorporate all those changes because in this way i also can improve my quality and if my quality gets improved uh, um, i will able to i'll be able to uh, deliver better content if i able to deliver better content you guys will be benefited for that so ultimately it will be winning situation both of us for both of us right so that's it guys we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day